I'm Forrest Saunders standing inside of the state capitol where we saw that social media ban for minors under the age of 16 get through both the Senate and House chambers. But the question is, will Governor Ron DeSantis now sign it? Take a look. That social media ban for kids under 16. 108 yeas, seven nays, Mr. Speaker. the bill passes. Now heading to Florida's governor, clearing both chambers Thursday. Social media platforms like X, Insta, or TikTok with addictive features, including infinite scroll, live streaming, and even like buttons, would need to use age verification to ensure users are at least 16. All others blocked. Businesses that are using addictive features to engage in mass manipulation of our children to cause them harm. On the floor, supporters said the need was great, worried the mental health of kids is in decline. But we must do something. Drastic times calls for drastic measures. That's his opponent said parents should be in charge, not the government. Instead of banning social media, why don't we put more money into mental health treatments? Others warned the bill would run afoul of the First Amendment, citing a federal court strike down of a similar bill in Arkansas. This will be overturned in the court of law, even by those at the state level appointed by the governor and even at those at the federal level appointed by President Trump. The bill is much different than its first version. It now includes age verification for adult websites 18 and up, plus enhanced anonymity protections. Sponsors hoping it's enough to get DeSantis' signature. It would be interesting for a person that is talking about protecting the children of the state of Florida for him not to sign this bill. It would be a little bit hypocritical. DeSantis, for his part, We're working through those. I don't think it's there yet. Said at a press conference, concerns remain not only on the bill's legality, but parents' rights. We're working to make sure that there's a, that there's a role for parent. Now you can say it's it's disfavored or, or, or not allowed for 1415, but a parent you know, has the right to opt in. The idea was a non-starter for the House Speaker, who's championed the change. He said parental rights don't apply when the safety of children is at stake. You don't let a parent consent to having that kind of harm on their child. And so because of that, have a parental opt-in pre presents, I believe, a poison pill itself to the constitutionality of the bill. And so that's just not a place where we can go. And I the legislation now heads to DeSantis, still facing that uncertain future. Will he sign or veto? And if he does, will lawmakers do something we haven't seen in years? Try to override. Now, we did ask House Speaker Paul Renner whether or not he would consider overriding any veto should things come to that. He told us that's a premature question, and you got to remember the budget is still in play here. Both chambers and the governor's office wheeling and dealing to try and figure out what the final total will look like, meaning perhaps Renner has a little bit of leverage. We'll have to wait and see what happens. That's the latest out here at the state capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting.